In today's video, we will walk through a complete tutorial of how to set up and use TikTok Shop. So TikTok Shop came out in September of 2023 and it's already been a huge success. Right now, I would say TikTok Shop is one of the best and easiest opportunities to start a business and we'll talk about the reasons why here in a second. You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video because we're going to go over an overview of what TikTok Shop is. We will discuss some of the pros of using TikTok Shop and we will walk through a full tutorial to show you exactly how to get your TikTok Shop up and running. Okay, so let's talk about what TikTok Shop is and maybe some of the pros of using it rather than just putting a link in your TikTok bio to your website. TikTok Shop is a one-stop shop platform within the TikTok app. So the beauty of this is that you're simply more likely to convert if you stay within the TikTok app rather than having a link to your website that goes outside of the TikTok app. There's just so many ways to get lost when you go into an external browser and it just really keeps everything nice and neat inside the app. If you just have a link in your bio and people open a link into an external browser, they may wonder if it's legitimate or not. But TikTok Shop solves the problem because everything is within the app in the TikTok ecosystem. So bottom line is this just makes it a lot more seamless for the buyer and it makes it easier for them to purchase. Okay, so now that we would understand why someone would want to use TikTok Shop, let's go through a full tutorial of how to set up and use the platform. Okay, so once you've clicked on that link that we have down below in the description, it'll bring you to this TikTok Shop main welcome page. Go ahead and enter a phone number or email and you can get started. Now, one thing I will say is you probably want to keep this account separate from your current TikTok or personal account if you have one currently. I'll show you later on how to link your personal account with your TikTok shop account, but right now let's create a completely new account. The reason that you should do this is because you can't unlink it from your personal account if you sign in now, but later on we can always link it later if we'd like to. So create a completely new account and let's start from scratch. So I went ahead and entered in my email here. You go ahead and do the same and then click continue. It'll ask you to do this puzzle here, and once you've finished that, go ahead and click continue. Now it will send a verification number to your email. Just go ahead and put that number in once you have it. All right, once you put that number in, it'll prompt you to set a password. Just set a password here, and then when you're finished, go ahead and click continue. Okay, now we are in the seller center of TikTok Shop, and it will prompt you to give them your business types. So the options are an individual, a sole proprietorship, corporation, or a partnership. If you have an unincorporated or corporated business, you can choose from one of the bottom three, but if it's just yourself, go ahead and click individual. Let's just do individual for the purpose of this video for beginners just starting out. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click next. Okay, next it's going to prompt you to give them some type of identification. This can either be your passport or your driver's license. Go ahead and enter that information now and then we can click next once you're done. Okay, once you've entered all that information, you can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. And you can actually click here at the bottom that you do not have a business address. If you do, you can enter that, but you can just put that you have a residential address. You just have to check this box here. And then lastly, you'll just enter the last four digits of your social security number and click next. And then once you've entered next, it'll bring you to this page where it says shop information. Go ahead and enter your shop name. I'll just enter mine here now. And then you can choose the product or service type here. Go ahead down to the bottom under secure signup, enter your phone number, and then have it send you the code. And then once you've confirmed your information, go ahead and click submit. Okay, now that you've submitted that information, it should bring you to this seller center homepage. Now you'll see that there's a couple different things that you have to get done in order to get your TikTok shop up and running. Once you've registered your business, you'll need to wait about a day for approval. So on your account, it might say pending approval right here. That's okay. They'll get back to you in about 24 hours. The next thing that you'll need to do is to add your tax information. Let's go ahead and do this here together. Go ahead and click get started under add tax information. This is just a W-9 basically if you live in the US. Okay, so once you've done that, it'll bring you to this basic information page and you'll want to fill out all this information as it appears on your income tax returns. Go ahead and fill out your name there. And then if you have a DBA or doing business as name, you can put that here as well. Make sure you enter a correct email address if it's not the one that you signed up with. And you'll want to make sure that your address is correct here as well. And then you'll disclose what type of business you are, whether you're an individual or an entity. And then you can go ahead and enter your social security number here. And then you can go ahead and preview this document. Like we said, this is just the W-9 form. So if you hit preview, you can see all of your information filled out on the form. And then you can either save as draft or go ahead and click submit. Okay, the next thing that you'll need to do here is set up your shipping information. So click get started here. Now this is just the address that you're shipping from. This is obviously private information. I won't enter this now, but you can go ahead and do that. And once you're finished, go ahead and click submit. Now that you registered your business and you're waiting for approval from TikTok, you added your tax information, you set up your shipping. Now you can add your first product. That's the next step here. So let's click get started here. As you can see, there's a couple options here. You can upload manually, sync files with an online store, bulk upload, and then you can also add via the seller center. So let's go over 
over each one of these individually. So if you're just getting started, you can just upload manually to TikTok each individual product that you wish to sell. Now we don't really recommend that because you can use other platforms like Shopify and WooCommerce to get really insightful data on your products. They can do things like track inventory and track cost per goods sold. There's a lot more usability when you connect to an e-commerce store. Today I'll show you how to set up a Shopify store if you don't have one already. And I'll show you how to set up the WooCommerce plugin on WordPress. So let's go ahead and sync our store now. Now it'll bring up this page here. And as you can see, there's Shopify, Amazon, WooCommerce, eBay. You can sign up with any of these stores. Okay, so before we get into that, let's show you briefly how to set up your Shopify store. So we'll leave a link down below in the description, or you can just go to startupwise.com slash Shopify. So if you sign up with our special link down below, you can actually get Shopify for just $1 for the first month. So the page should look like this. Let's go ahead and enter our email address and start our free trial. Once you've entered your information there, go ahead and select a password and then click create Shopify account. Now we are on the Shopify welcome page. So once you're here on the Shopify homepage, you can answer some questions here for faster setup. Let's just skip this for now and I'll briefly show you how the products page works here on the left hand side. So go ahead and click on the tab that says products and then you can add your product. So just to go over this real briefly, you have a title here, a description, you can insert some media, it's just some pictures that you took of your product. You can go ahead and put the pricing of the product here. You can go ahead and enter the retail price that you're going to list the product at here. And then you can either choose to charge tax or not. You can also input the cost per item. This is just going to help you track information on the back end to see what your margin is. You can also track quantity through the platform here on Shopify, which is not something that you'd really be able to do in the TikTok shop if you upload it manually. You can also continue to sell the product when it's out of stock. So let's say we have 300 units that we can enter in here. And then you can either decide whether you want to continue selling when the stock runs out or not. This is a really neat feature. Also, you can add a product SKU. It might not be a big deal if you're just dealing with one item, but if you have multiple items, you're going to want to barcode them with a product SKU. And then if you're shipping a physical product, you can click on the button here and approximate the weight. You can also go down here to variants and give different sizes and colors for that product. And then lastly here, you can optimize the search engine listing. You can put the page title, the description and the URL handle. That's just a brief overview of what you can do here on the products page. Let's go back to the home page and we can select a plan. As you can see here in the bottom, our trial just started. Let's go ahead and select a plan and see what the options are here. As you can see, all of these plans are a dollar for the first month and there's a basic Shopify and advanced plan. If you're just getting started and it's just you, you'll probably want to start with the basic plan. After that first month at a dollar, it's going to be $29 a month, which is really affordable. If you have a bigger team and you want better credit card rates and better shipping rates, then you can go ahead and go with the Shopify plan. But for most of you, the basic is going to be more than enough. So let's go ahead and select the basic plan. Next, it's going to ask you your payment information. So let's go ahead and enter our name here. Now, once we've entered our name and credit card information here, you can go ahead and review on the right hand side. And you'll actually see on the right hand side here, if you pay monthly, it's going to cost you $39. But you can just check this box up here at the top to pay yearly and it's a lot cheaper. It's 10 bucks cheaper a month. So once you've selected the plan and payment schedule that you want, go ahead and click subscribe. Next, once you've subscribed, it'll ask you for your business address. We'll just add that a little bit later. Okay, now that we're back on the home page, let's change the name of our store. So go ahead and go down here to settings and then go to profile here and you can change the name of your store. And once you've edited your store name and business number, go ahead and click save. Now, the point of this video wasn't to show you how to set up your entire Shopify store. This was just to get a product up so that we can link it with our TikTok shop account. Now that we've set up our store name, we just wanna edit a couple more things so that we can go back into TikTok shop and it'll be all ready for us. Those couple things are shipping, taxes and payment. Let's go ahead and do shipping first. So go ahead and select shipping and delivery here. In this section, you'll want to do your shipping information and create a custom shipping rate if you need to. Here you can add expected delivery dates, local delivery, and then local pickup if you want. You probably don't want to do local pickup though. You'll most likely be shipping everything out. If you scroll down, there is delivery customization here, saved packages and Shopify shipping. Go ahead and fill all this information out as it pertains to your business and your product. Now this is going to vary from state to state and country to country. So if you're shipping in a certain country, you'll want to make sure that you select them here. Just make sure you're following all local laws and regulations for wherever you're shipping to. After that, go ahead and go up to payments in the left-hand corner here. Now that you're here, you want to click complete account setup. Once you're here, you'll want to make sure that you submit all the additional payment information on your business. So let's go ahead and click submit details. Go ahead and select your business type, whether you're an individual or an entity. You can go ahead and fill out all this information, but if you scroll down to the bottom here, something that's really important is this customer billing statement. 
you want to make sure that you put on the statement descriptor here some type of identification for your website or brand. This information is going to pop up on your customer's bank statement. So if you've ever received a charge and you don't know what it is because it's a bunch of numbers and letters, this is probably the reason why. And as a customer, if you have a charge on your card and you don't know what it is because it's not very clear, then you're more likely to dispute it. And you don't want to do that. It's going to be a lot of headaches. So just make sure that you're clear in saying exactly what the product or service that you are providing is. This will save you a lot of time in the future. Once you're finished with all that, go ahead and click submit for verification. Okay, so once you've gone through the process of setting up your tax information, your payment information, and your shipping information, let's go back to the TikTok shop homepage. Now that we're back here, let's go ahead and click on this TikTok for Shopify channel app and click learn more. Once you've done that, it'll bring you to this page and you can install. Once you clicked install, it might make you log into your Shopify account again. So let's go back to our Shopify and find our store name. So if you go into settings under my store, this will be your Shopify URL that we are going to connect here. Let's go back, type in that URL and paste it and press login. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and go to this page and you can install the TikTok app on Shopify. Now you can see there are two platforms here. There's TikTok marketing and TikTok shop. TikTok marketing is TikTok ads. We actually have a full tutorial of TikTok ads on the channel that we can link here and down below in the description. We won't go into too much detail on TikTok ads today. Go ahead and check out that video for more information. But let's scroll down and click set up now on the TikTok shop. Once you've done that, you can click connect with Shopify. Then go ahead and enter the account information for the TikTok shop. Go ahead and press login. Once you've done that, it'll send you a verification code and go ahead and go to your email and enter that. Now it brings you to this page where it says connect your Shopify account with this TikTok shop. You'll go ahead and press confirm and then you'll see this connect TikTok shop and Shopify logo. Let's go ahead and connect. And once you've done that, it should bring you to a page similar to this. If it doesn't, go ahead and click TikTok down here in the bottom left-hand column and then we can walk through this together. So your TikTok for business account should be set up and then your TikTok business center account should be set up as well. If you want to add your TikTok ads account here, you can do that too. Like we said, we have another video. We won't talk about that now. Once you have all three of those set up, it'll bring you to the data sharing and you can decide which level of sharing you'd like. In order for TikTok to get the maximum amount of data from your Shopify store, you're going to want to select maximum. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click confirm. And the last thing here is the company information. Let's go ahead and set that up. And then lastly, at the bottom here, you can select automatic or manual payment once you put in your business information. Go ahead and click confirm. Now that you've done all five of those things to connect your TikTok shop with Shopify, click finish setup. Now your account will be under review for about 24 hours. They'll get back to you and let you know everything is good via email. And if you scroll down under the TikTok channel overview, you can see the TikTok shop and your products are going to appear right here. Now that we've shown you how to set up your products in TikTok shop with Shopify, let's do it briefly with WooCommerce. If you have a WordPress site, then WooCommerce may be your e-commerce platform of choice. So let's go ahead and go over from Shopify to WooCommerce here and we can click learn more. Next, you can go ahead and click add to store here. Then it'll bring you to this checkout page and you can go ahead and enter all your contact information here. Once you're finished with that, scroll to the bottom and select place free order. Now this is just an order for the free TikTok download on WooCommerce. If you already have a WordPress account set up, you're going to click this login button here. So let's just show you that briefly. You're going to click on login and then enter your information here and then it should pop up and you can continue as your profile. Once you've done that, you can click approve. Once you've done that, go ahead and go to the plugins on your WordPress site, scroll down and you can select WooCommerce to install. Now that it's installed, you can go ahead and click activate. And once you see that the plugin is activated, you'll see the WooCommerce tab here. And after you have that WooCommerce plugin on your site, you should be all set up and good to go. Now that we've done that and we're back on the TikTok shop homepage, we can go to the bottom here and connect our TikTok account. Let's click get started here. Now, if you want to connect this here with your personal account, you can, but we really recommend that you just create a new TikTok and link this new TikTok shop account with the new TikTok account. So once you're ready to do that, go ahead and click link official account. And then once you've done that and you created your new TikTok for your new TikTok shop account, go ahead and scan this QR code and that will help you set up and link the two accounts. Okay, we're almost finished. That's everything you needed to know to set up your account. Now let's just briefly go over some of the things in the dashboard on the TikTok shop account. So we're on the homepage here. Let's go to orders. Now that we've done that, let's click get started here. This is where you're going to be able to see all of your orders. It's a very seamless and clean dashboard. You have everything that ships within 24 hours, the auto canceling, shipping overdue, cancellation request, abnormal packages, and returns or requests all on the dashboard here. You can manage returns here in this section as well. You can also go to the fulfillment sections where people can refund without returning the product. You can also calculate the handling time here. If you go to shipping options, you can view some details here and it will link you with UPS, USPS, or FedEx. This will help you calculate some of the fees that it will cost to ship. They also have shipping templates here. 
Okay, if you go to products, once you have your Shopify store connected, your products will populate here. And you can also add new products by hand or by bulk like we showed you earlier. Here you can go over product ratings and you can optimize each product in this product optimizer. There's a media center for all of your pictures for your products. And then they have a neat section where you can explore product opportunities. This will help you discover new products to sell. If you go over to marketing here, this is everything we discussed in the TikTok ads tutorial that we created that you can check out. But there's promotions, campaigns, and then TikTok funded promotions here too. Also, there's an affiliate page here where you can sell products on TikTok that are somebody else's products through an affiliate program. So you don't have to have your own product, you can sell through affiliates too. And lastly, the section we'll show you here real quickly is analytics. This is where all the analytics for your SKUs will pop up. You can see sales, traffic, and a bunch of other metrics here that are really helpful once you get your products moving. Lastly, to show you here is shop health and finances. So shop health is going to show you a score for your shop. So if you have a lot of problems with your products like shipping or you're not delivering the product that you said you were, obviously all of that will pop up here in your shop health. So just keep an eye on it and make sure that you're in good health and you're delivering everything to the customer as you said you would. Lastly is finances. Here you can see a finance summary, payouts, statements, taxes, all this information will be held here in the finances tab. Okay, that's everything we have for you today on how to create a TikTok shop. TikTok Shop is a great opportunity to start your first business. It's really easy to get your products up fast, whether you're uploading them manually or working with another e-commerce platform. All the resources that we talked about will be linked in the description down below. If you do choose to use our link at Shopify or TikTok Shop, we do get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. This really helps keep videos and tutorials like this free for you, so we wanna thank you so much in advance. So with that said, we really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please leave a like and subscribe down below. This channel is dedicated to providing business owners and entrepreneurs like you with free videos and tutorials like this one today. So thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your entrepreneurship journey and we will see you in the next one.